Hey guys, welcome. Good evening. How are you doing, guys? Everything good? Good Hi, night, teacher. Good night. Good evening. Nice to see you here. How are you? Everything is fine. Ready to rock. Hi, teacher. Hello, Nancy. Nice to see you. Hello. Here. All right, good to see you. Great to see you guys. Anyways, uh, so who are we missing? All right. So let's uh, let's turn on those cameras, guys, so we can so we can get started. All right, All right and uh, and we get we can get to know each other. Okay, I'm gonna bring out the presentation here. Hello, guys. So uh, welcome, welcome, welcome to English Cooperative, guys. My name is David David Navas whatever you want to call me, guys. It's all right for me as long as you don't call me teacher, okay? Just don't call me teacher, guys, and we're fine, all right? Anyway, so uh, today, guys, um, we're going to introduce each other, okay? That's what we're going to do today, right? So we're going to go over the objectives. Uh, you're going to get to know me. I'm going to get to know you. Uh, we're going to go over the class rules. Uh, we're going to talk about the platform, and we're going to have a fun activity, and then I'll give you time so you can ask me some questions, okay? Yes? Okay. Sounds good? Very well, guys. All right. So let's get started. Uh, who would like to help me read the objectives for the class, guys? You need David. Go on. Anybody? Oh, you guys are shy. You know what I do with shy people? I make them participate like crazy, guys. You know, so don't be shy. Let's see, Hector, help us read. Uh, okay. To enable study with the English skill need, needed to be able to increase, increase opportunities for ground and development in their professional or academic aspirations. Good job, thank you. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot, Hector. All right, so, so the objective of guys is to enable students with the, uh, the English skills needed to be able to increase opportunities for growth and development in their professional or academic aspirations, okay? So basically, you know, bottom line, so you can improve your English for your workplace, right? That's it. Right. Um, so, um, so again, guys, uh, for those of you who just came in, my name is David. Uh, don't forget this name, guys, because you're gonna. Well, you you will receive a survey eventually. So I need to remember that my name is David. Okay, I like to be called David. You can call me David or Dave, or you can call me David. Right. All right, whatever, guys, okay? I don't care. All right, and my last name is Navas, okay? David Navas, all right? So it's cool if you call me David. Hey, David, you know, I need this. Hey, David, I need that, okay? We're good. So um, I'm 31, and I've been teaching English for over four years now. I, uh, I used to work in... Uh, in call centers, you know, as a manager, um, as, a, as a sales coach as well, you know, so I, I've been speaking in English for a while now. I lived in the United, I lived in the United States back when I was, uh, well, back in my teens. I used to live in St. Louis, Missouri, and then I moved, I moved back here, and then uh, I've also been to Brazil. I lived there for a couple of months, 
and uh, I learn. I have. I, I I know how to speak Portuguese. I teach Portuguese too, by the way. And um, you know, I, I think I think you know, teaching is my passion. Um, I'm a person who likes to. Well, I, I like all sorts of things. I, I, I like exercise now, you know, I, I actually like exercising. I exercise every day. I have a, a weight bench in my house, so I, I lift weights recently though, but, but I lift every day, you know. Um, I like playing basketball if I have people to play basketball with, because uh, honestly, you know, nowadays I don't find people, find people to play basketball with. I would say I love, uh, I, I like playing video games, but I don't have time. So I haven't played a video game for a long time now, you know, but, but it's, you know, I, I do, I can think, I think I still like them. It's just, I don't have time because I have, I have two jobs and I, I, I'm studying business administration too, you know, um, that's another thing that I forgot to mention. I'm a, I'm an English instructor at Talus International. So I work for Talus as a, as an instructor, as an English instructor, or as a language instructor, you know, because sometimes we do have to do things in Portuguese too, right? Um, uh, I like traveling. I love traveling. I think that's one of the most wonderful things in the world. I would travel every every day if I had the chance, you know, or the money, right? But uh, traveling is one of my, you know, it's it's it's, it's, uh, it's my passion. Uh, what I expect from you guys is to participate, to have fun, to be respectful with with each other, to come every day. We're actually going to go over the class rules so we can get uh, a little bit deeper into that. Okay, but that's what I expect from you mostly. And a fun fact about me, guys, is that um, you know I don't know if this is something from San Miguel, guys, <laughs> so, or, or I don't know, right? Or if it is Salvadorian, I don't know, but my mom used to, you know, used to, to, to slice or actually to, 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 to break, you know, tamales apart, right? So to, to turn them into pieces, you know, small pieces and, 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 and uh, put them in a bowl and pour milk, you know? Oh. And so, so milk with, <laughs> milk with 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 tamales you know but it tamales stays de lote. I, yeah tamales de lote, right yeah with salt man <laughs> and i like it so so that's do a fun like, fact do you like tamales de lote in with milk it's tasty yeah it's tasty now i i i don't i mean you don't do that right um well you're like you don't see that in restaurants or anything like that, right? That was one thing from my mom. I don't know if it's something from San Miguel or I have no idea, guys, if it comes from theirs or, or you know, whatever. But, you know, that's a fun Miguel fact. make the, the the tamales with with rice, no, with uh, beans. No, 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 no. No, I have what? Oh, you mean, Tamal no, okay, tamales, they, they have beans. Oh, I like those ah, ones, yes. but... But you, you, okay, no, you don't eat those ones with, with milk, okay? You have, okay. They, have, they have to be, they have to be, um, you know, tamales de lote, okay? All right, that's that's it. By the way, guys, fun fact, did you know that they have tamales in Brazil? They are like the tamales de lote, but they are big. They're, they're, they're like super big, and they have cheese inside, and they have, they have um, sausage inside, you know? So it's really, really tasty. It's way tastier than the ones that we got here. Know. Anyway, so that's a fun fact about me, guys. Okay. All right. Any question, guys? Any question for me so far? Any question about me so far? You good? Hey, Jose, Miguel, are you relatives? You look like <laughs> you look no. like relatives. No, you good? All right. Very good. All right, very good, guys. So, all right, let me get to know you guys, okay? So, I'm going to give you guys up to, well, three to five minutes, guys, so you can talk about yourselves. And I want you to tell me, guys, how you like to be called, all right? Uh, I want you to tell me how you like to be called, your hobbies, expectations, and a fun fact about you. Got it? Quiero que me hablen, guys, acerca de cómo te gusta que te llamen, tus hobbies, expectations, and a fun fact. Yes? 
All right, let's start with Catherine. Hello, Catherine. Let's go. Hello, uh, my name is Catherine Gabriela, and uh, I like the people call me Gabby or Catherine. The both name is okay. I like the both. I like my both names, and my I'm from Sensum Tepeque Cabanas, and uh, my favorite hobby is watch watch TV and the um, one hour ago ago uh -huh, one hour ago i finished the uh, to watch the el juego del calamar it's very it's very interesting and i like the korean cult culture and all that <laughs> and i have expectation about this course is um it's big in the right way and the, the way fluido, fluid, no sé cómo se dice. Speak I don't know why to say fluid. Uh -huh. Speak more, speak how? More fluently. More fluently. Uh -huh. yes. And, and fun facts, uh, I don't know what I say, but hmm, I don't know. <laughs> I don't like the um, um, pupusas with mayonesa. <laughs> um, with pupusas um, with mayonesa. I don't know. I don't like. No, I don't like we, a lot. We, we, is, is that a thing, guys? People do people eat pupusas and mayonnaise? Yeah, curtido. Eso existe. Eso existe. Sí. Sí, el cultivo wow. con mayonesa. And I don't like. I don't like. Is the same what? with salad or the pollo campero. <laughs> oh, it tastes like, like that. Okay. Ah, uh, and I don't like and I like the normal uh, the normal thing that the people normal used uh, or norm normal that. Uh huh. And you mean and like the regular purposes? The what? Regular curtido. Like the regular curtido. Ah, uh, the Yes, ah, I don't like the elotes locos. <laughs> no, oh, I don't that's like good. the elote. No, and it's 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 all that okay. about me. So you don't like food in general. <laughs> if you don't like, I don't like elote, okay. normal food. <laughs> no, okay, you, you like I water. That's it. I don't, okay. don't look like a. I don't look like, uh, no, see, sí, I don't look like a Salvadorian Norma. <laughs> okay, all right, very good. All right, Catherine, right, that, that was funny. Nice meeting you, Catherine. Applause for Catherine, guys. Good job, Catherine. All right, Nancy, let's go, Nancy. Nancy, you're muted. Not the teacher, eh? You are muted. Your your microphone is disabled. Oh. Hello? All right, there we go. Hello? Yes. Okay. Okay. Hello, everybody. My name is Nancy Molina de Calderon. I am and live in the I am like that they call me Nancy. I live in Lourdes and I am a lawyer. I like to visit uh, the beach. Only. Right. Okay, tell us a fun fact about you. I don't understand teach. Uh, a fun fact is un dato, un dato curioso, un dato divertido de vos. Okay. Tell us. Mm. Algo divertido, veamos. I am a serious. Okay, the fun fact is that you're a serious person. Yes, we right. very serious. All right, okay, all right. Yeah, I see you very smiley, okay? 
All right, that's good. Okay, plus for Nancy, guys. Well done, Nancy. All right, um, Stephanie, Lara. Hello, Stephanie. Hello. Hello. Uh, my name is Stephanie Lara. I'm 21 years old. Uh, I like to call me a Stephanie or a Steph. Uh, I live in Santa Tecla. Nice. I like to read and see series. Okay. And a fun fact, I was, I don't know, I fall very easily anywhere. <laughs> so, so you trip, you trip easily? You trip yes. easily? Yes. Really? <laughs> yes. Wait, why, why, why is that? I don't know. <laughs> Okay, that that's a fun fact. Okay, I have never met. So so it's like you're walking down the street and you trip over. Yes. Okay, all right. All right. You know that that happened to me once in Metro Centro, but that was the the lamest fall ever because I there was this girl from Asia. I don't know where she was from, but she was not Salvadorian. She was tall, you know. She was beautiful, and she was she was Asian, right? And I started looking at her and she looked back at me and I, I, you know, I stared at her and I was walking and, 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 and then, you know, the floor was wet. So I, so I slipped, you know, I slipped and I, and I fell to the ground and I didn't look back at her again, you know? So I understand you, Stephanie. <laughs> All right. Good job. Plus for Stephanie guys. All right. Um, let's see Hector. Let's go Hector. Okay. Hi. My name is Hector Celaya. I like to be called Rick or Richard or Ricardo. Whatever. Whatever. Okay. Um I'm sales professional. I I like it, I like the, the cook cookies prefer and I'm happy. I like the I like the dogs. You like I dogs? A, see, I have a four dogs. All right. Yes. Okay, you like dogs. Uh, so that's that's great. Well, what breed are they? Excuse me. What breed are they? Breed is like the raza. Ah, la raza. Um, Siberian Husky. Uh, two, two, two dogs. Uh, Akita Americano, and and the mix, and the mix. And a straight dog. One, one mix. One of them. Uh, okay. She's a Labrador with. Uh, I don't remember the other the other race. <laughs> Okay. All right. That's great, man. That's great. All right. Plus four, Hector, guys. Nice meeting you, Hector. Thanks. All right. Jose Blade Fernando. Okay. Hi. Este. Hello. Hello. Um, my name is Jose Fernando Ramos Duque. Uh, you see in the screen. And I call me. I like, uh, call me Fernando. Um, the, um, my expectative is, is uh, learn or speak uh, Frenchy. Okay. But I, I understand uh, but no, I I can't speak very very well. And All right, very good. Well, that's that's what you're here for. Um, continue. I'm sorry. And my hobby, I like 
uh, make uh, paper replicas. And it's a fun for me. It's uh, entertaining for me. Okay. Uh -huh. And it's, it's uh, like a, a architectura. How do, how do you say architectura? Architecture. Uh -huh. I made a, a no houses or buildings. Uh, else, uh, robots. I like uh, Star Wars. I found Star Wars and I make uh, Arturiru, uh, Citripio, and, and another uh, personajes. The characters? No. Star Wars characters? Mm, no, an artist. Yeah. Un robot, no es un artist, un, uh, una nave, un ship, ship, right? Ship. Yes. Teacher, uh, how do you uh -huh. say que el poder te acompañe in English? May the force be with you. The, okay. the force we. It says, it is like this, may the force be with you. Okay, thank you. Yes. May May the fourth be with you. Yes. <laughs> May the fourth be with you. Okay. And this is my uh, my host. My expect expectations uh, speak. And from fact, I don't know what means fact. Um, it's fun fact is you know, un dato curioso, un dato divertido. Oh. When I was in the university, uh, I am studying in uh, the work come for me. Yeah, no, I. Mm, no fui a conseguir trabajo, o sea, el trabajo llegó a donde estaba. Ok. Sí. All right. Y, I am in, in 90, 90, 94, I work a teacher. And third, third, year, tercera, tercer año, no sé. Tercer año de electrónica. I was okay. teacher. Uh -huh. Oh, you were okay. You were a professor. Uh -huh. or, or just a teacher? Because the teacher is someone like from high school. A professor is someone who teaches at the university. Ah, okay. Okay. All right. All right, great. Uh, all right, very good. Nice video. Applause for Jose, guys. Well done, Jose. Good job, man. Well done. All right, Miguel Romero. Let's Thank go, you. Miguel Romero. Hello. Hello. My name is Miguel Romero. I like to be calling Miguel. I am mechanic car. My hobby is, is reading a motorcycle. My expectation is to understand, speak, write English. My fun fact is I like to work with all cars. All right, great, great. I'm the opposite, man. I'm really good at, you know, car mechanics. Yes. <laughs> but that's, that's great, okay? That's good. That, that's very cool. Um, all right, do you have a fun fact? Oh, was that your fun fact? Sorry. Um, was that um, my fun fact? Is is a uh, work uh, work with cars, old cars. I like very very well. 
Nice, nice, nice. Good job. Close for Miguel, guys. Good job, Miguel. All right. Uh, Laura, Gabriela, let's go. Hi. Uh, good night, everybody. My name is Laura Gabriela Mauricio. Mauricio is my, is my last name. Um, 33 years old. Um, uh, well, <laughs> actually, I think I don't have hobbies because of time. I have a full-time job and I am mom of a little girl. She has um, 18 months. And well, I think <laughs> you look her <laughs> and she hasn't sleep <laughs> because usually she wants to sleep with me. So I try to sleep her from eight to nine, but today is not what a good day <laughs> to get a slipper. So um, I'm married to, well, he's my husband. He's already um, come from job, uh, from job, his job. And um, so that's why I don't have <laughs> enough time for hobbies. <laughs> I think my hobby is now is clean the house and take care of my, my girl. Um, my expectation from this class, um, well, I need to improve my English too, uh, speaking, writing, listening, um, and reading, because I want to uh, get a better job, uh, because I want to give my a better future for my girl, my little girl. Um, Fun facts, um, <laughs> a fun fact today, well, I have a full-time job and this month we'll be going to work uh, time from home and some time from in the office. And today I have to work from my house and a fun fact, my, my girl brought out a bottle, um, um, old bottle over my sofa uh, that was <laughs> uh, so tighter <laughs> but was fun but was fun at the end i hope she you spilled, understand she spilled, me. A, she spilled a bottle of what of oil wow, uh, okay. cooking oil yes that was uh, i want to introduce her she's ariana say hello hello ariana, hello, ariana. Hi. <laughs> Hello, Audrey, so, Anna. <laughs> so I hope it's, um, no se ha molesto. For every one of you, but um, I need to take my class too, and, and I have to take care of her too. Yes, I understand, right? That's I'm all. Proud, I'm proud <laughs> Thank mom, you. Huh? Thanks to you. I applaud for Laura, guys. Oh, good job, Laura. Thank you. All right. Uh, no, Catherine, uh, Nancy, no, Nancy, Vanessa, let's go, Vanessa. There you go. Hi, Vanessa. Hi, good night. I'm Vanessa. I'm 20, um, actually, I am work. I work at the uh, Jubiquary Call Center, but I'm here because I want to learn uh, from all of you. I want to improve my English. Uh, at this point, to be honest, I don't have like an, um, how do you say, um, sorry, hobbies, because I don't have enough time because I work from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. And so when I get home, I just cook. So I take care for my daughter, my husband. So I don't have time, uh, enough time to ha have hobbies, but I'm here to learn and improve my English because um, my expectation are because I want to get a better position at my work because uh, actually I just take calls. I work on a life insurance account. So that is the most important reason what I'm still what I'm here today. Um, that's it. Okay, all right. Well, I, I hope I can help you out. 
Nice meeting you. you. for Vanessa, guys. Well done, Vanessa. All right. Super good. Um, let's see who's missing, guys. Evelyn Navigail. Hello, Evelyn. Welcome. Hello. Hello, Evelyn. Do we have a camera? Oh, yes. All right. Don't be shy. There you go, Evelyn. Nice meeting you. Hi. Hi. All right, tell us about you, Evelyn. Um, my name is Evelyn. I'm a, I'm working in for Salva. Uh, I like um watch movie horror movie. Okay. And I like cooking and no more. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> All right, that's good. That's good. Okay, plus for Evelyn, guys. Nice meeting you, Evelyn. Export some. Isn't that, isn't that in lower this? No. You said that you work in Export Salva, no? Yes. Yes, uh, is, I live in, in Armenia. Oh, no, but Armenia is far. Export Salva is like near Lourdes, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I used to live nearby when I was young. When I was younger, <laughs> you know? <laughs> all right. Uh, all right, nice meeting you, Evelyn. All right, nice meeting you. Anyways, okay. Uh, am I missing anybody, guys? Me falta alguien? I think that's it, right? Not too many people here. Nine people. Okay, guys. All right. Um, all right. Nice meeting you all, guys. I think uh, you had a great presentation. Okay. Now, uh, we're going to go over the class rules. <laughs> guys, um, what's your motivation for being here? ¿Cuál es su motivación, guys? ¿Quién me puede decir cuál es la motivación de estar en esa clase? What, what's your goal? What do you want to do? Why are you here today, guys? ¿Qué te tiene aquí hoy? Who would like to tell me, guys? Real quick. Uh, Evelyn, I think that you wanted to say something, but you're muted. Está muteada. Um, for me, teacher, my motivation is uh, I can uh, talk a new language and, mm -hmm. and right. maybe I can uh, teach him for, I can teach him English for the other persons okay. or people. All right. And only that. Okay, very good. All right, good job. Thank you. Thank you, Evelyn. Uh, who else, guys? What is your motivation? Laura, what is your motivation, Laura? What is your motivation? Well, quickly, uh, quickly. Um, I told you in my presentation, my motivation is get a better job because I want to get get a give a better future to my little girl very good very good yes yes all right thank you for bringing that up again right just real quick guys okay thank you laura all right jose fernando what is your motivation what is your biggest motivation why are you here Por qué está aquí? Uh, yes i understand but uh, my motivation is uh it's uh layer why do you want uh, to learn English? The, the, uh -huh. uh, the, the language English is um, uh, it's, it's interesting, interesting, mm -hmm. and my wish is uh, can read many many books in English. And it's 
B are example for my son. Okay. So to be an example for kids, okay? <clears throat> for your kids. All right, all right, let's leave it at that. Miguel, real quick, así rapidito. Why are you here today? Why did you decide to start this course? Okay, my motivation is to understand and speak English, write English, because I want I want to understand when I travel. Okay, I... to travel. Very good. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Miguel. Okay, uh, Vanessa, same question to you. Why? What is your why? ¿Cuál es tu por qué? Yes, I'm your... Uh, my motivation to stay here tonight is because, as I told you before, I want to improve my English. And one of my goals is I'll get a better opportunity at my job at this moment because I want to um, get better uh, job and increase the, and earn more money at the same okay. time. So okay. I think that one is the, the bigger motivation. Very good. No money, no honey, right? Very good. All right, to earn more money, guys. All right, everybody, no money, no honey. <laughs> Repeat, guys, no money, no honey. All right, so, very good. Uh, so, guys, okay, uh, let's see. Hector, what is your, what is your motivation? Why, why are you here today? Okay, uh, teacher, my motivation is, uh, that English is very difficult for me. It's forever, but I, it's uh, un reto, un reto for me. Okay. Okay. To overcome, uh, to overcome uh, challenges, right? Yes. Right. I need um, a best job and a better job. Satisfaction. Satisfaction, personal satisfaction. Okay, personal satisfaction. Satisfaction, yes. So personal satisfaction, right? Stephanie, right, in simple words, what is your, why are you here today? Uh, my motivation is learn more, uh, talk more fluently. I don't know, say this. <laughs> Game fluency, okay. Yeah. Game fluency, all right, very good. Um, Ruben, welcome, Ruben. How are you? Welcome aboard. Do you have a camera, Ruben? All right. Now, one last person, guys. Who else would like to share their goal? The reason why you're here? Uh, me, Catherine. Right. Uh, I want to uh, I want to I wanna uh, speak English because uh, someday I wanna live in UK or Canada and found a good job in bilingual, bilingual language. Okay, very good. Very good, so you wanna live in an English speaking country, very good. All right, now guys, think about why I'm asking you these questions, okay? But why am I asking you these questions? The reason why, guys, is because this, okay? I attend every day, all right? Whenever, guys, you want to miss a class, cuando querrá faltar a clase, guys, think about this. I, 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 I started this program because I wanted to learn a new language, to learn a new language. I want to teach English. I want to get a better job. I want to be an example to my kids. I want to travel. No money, no, no honey, right? I want, much, uh, I want more money. Uh, personal satisfaction, you know, I want to get more fluency. I want to live in an English speaking country, okay? So, and also, guys, this is free, right? I, I, you know, I speak, I speak Portuguese, I speak English, guys. I want to learn French. But if I want to learn, learn French from someone, guys, who really speaks French, si yo quiero aprender francés de alguien que de verdad habla francés, guys, no de un principiante, guys. Right? De alguien que habla inglés, de francés como yo hablo inglés, right? I would need to pay guys around $300, got it? Entonces guys, whenever, right? Whenever you feel like you wanna miss a class, cuando sientas que quieres eh, perderte la clase, right? 
think about this, okay? Think about saving three hundred dollars a month, and also, guys, think about think about what you told me today, okay? Quiero que piensen eso que me dijiste. Got it? Yes, guys. Because it's only nine students. It's only ten students, guys. Okay? So those are more yes. All right. So I need you guys to be here every day because otherwise, you know, there is not going to be too much interaction. Okay. Um. So that's, you know, that's, that's number one. So do I have your commitment, guys, that we're going to attend every day? Yes. Do I have your commitment, guys, that we are going to attend every day? Do I have your commitment that we are going to attend every day? Tengo su compromiso de que vamos a tener todos los días, que vamos a asistir todos los días. Yes. 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 Everybody, yes. I need to hear a yes from everyone. Yes. Everyone, okay? yes. 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 All right. Very good. Guys, also, guys, now I have another class before this one. Tengo una clase antes de esa clase, guys. A veces me tardo un minuto más o dos minutos terminando la anterior, o a veces se hace un minuto antes, right? But, guys, you have to be here at 9, okay? At 9, guys, you have to be here. Not at 9 or 1, not at 9 or 2, right? At nine o'clock, guys. At what time? Nine o'clock. Right? At nine o'clock. Nine o'clock. Uh, Mr. Davis está muteado. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. All right, uh, I, was, I was saying, guys, so be on time, guys, be on time, because if you miss the first part of the class, you will not understand the second part, okay? Si te perdes la primera parte, no vas a entender el final de la clase, got it? All right, so it is important for you to be on time, guys, okay? At nine. Now, be open to feedback. Now, this one is very important, guys. Do you know why people usually don't learn fast, guys? ¿Sabe por qué la gente a veces no, no aprende rápido? No. Because they don't give, they don't, they don't get feedback. Okay. Si yo no te digo que está mal con lo que vos estás diciendo en tu inglés, no vas a saber que, que vas a tener que mejorar. Got it? All right. And most of teachers, guys, la mayoría de teachers, guys, no les importa dar feedback porque no les importa, right? They don't care why, right? But I do, guys. I'm very strict in that, okay? All right. Because I know that you want to improve, okay? So. I give feedback, guys, on the spot. Do you know what on the spot means? On the spot, en el momento, guys. Write it down, right? Write it down. All right? Entonces, yo doy feedback en el momento, guys, okay? So, you can learn, right? So, guys, do you, is it okay if I give you feedback on the spot? ¿Le parece bien si le doy feedback on the spot? Yes. 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 All right, very good, very good, right? Also, guys, participate, okay? You're gonna participate, guys. Now, participation is really, really important, okay? Why, guys? If you don't participate, guys, I make everybody participate, okay? There is absolutely nobody who doesn't participate here, all right? Aquí todos, guys, me participan. Si no participan, yo te leo, all right? So, that's one thing that you're gonna notice about me, guys. Yo no soy de los que elija una persona, no. Yo a todos los voy a fregar, all right? A cada uno de ustedes. Si no participas, ahí te voy a elegir, right? Got it? All right, very okay. good. Respect, guys. Okay. Guys, respect doesn't mean no fun, okay? It doesn't mean no fun, right? I want you to have fun, okay? You can joke around. Pueden bromear y todo. Me gusta más que bromear. All right? I like. Just with respect, right? Right? If somebody, like somebody, some people, guys, you know, try to, try to, try to call me this, guys. How do you pronounce that? Tell me, all right, tell me, tell me this, guys. How would you, how would you, how would you call me if you call me like this? ¿Cómo diría eso? Hey, hey teacher. teacher. All right, some of you said, hey, teacher, right? Hey, camisas, mm -hmm. right? So, see, I know me no se llama el camisas, right? Right? Hey, uh -huh. hey t-shirt, right? Hey, t-shirt. Uh -huh. hey, right? So, yeah, it's right. So, I mean. You can make fun of all that, right? But, but yeah, it's teacher, guys, by the way, not t-shirt, right? People say t-shirt and that's not it, okay? It's el camisas, right? 
Yo solo me pongo una todo el tiempo. No, I'm kidding, guys. <laughs> All right. Very good. Um, be proactive, guys, on WhatsApp, okay? Necesito que en WhatsApp, guys, todo el mundo se ayude. Got it? Yes? Okay. The reason yes. why, guys, is because I have another job and, and, you know, we're only here for two hours. So, obviously, guys, I'm not going to dedicate my whole time, you know, on WhatsApp, right? I don't have time for WhatsApp. But, you know, if somebody knows the answer for something, you know, if somebody has already completed the platform, a section or whatnot, then you can use WhatsApp and, and, and you, you know, ask around, right? Hey, can somebody give me the answer for this? Can somebody help me understand this, okay? So I need you to be proactive on WhatsApp, okay? I need you to help each other on WhatsApp, yes? Yes? Yes. Very good. Very good. Very good. All right, guys. Technical issues, okay? So technical issues, guys, are reported to the technical support department, okay? You have a contact for technical support on your email. Todo el mundo tiene, guys, de haber recibido un email con toda la información de, te de support técnico, del grupo WhatsApp, got it? So that email, guys, contains tech support. If, you know, you have an issue with the platform, if you have an issue with uh, connecting to Zoom or whatever, you need to contact tech support, not me, guys, okay? Tech support. The reason why, guys, is because I have to deliver a class, so we cannot spend time, you know, fixing your technical issues, right? Y manate estoy como que soy claro con vos en toda la clase, right? Y ahí todo el mundo no va a recibir la clase porque te estoy ayudando que te conectes. Got it? So we don't have time for, I don't have time for me to to help with that, but we do have, you know, um, we do have, uh, our technical support. Got it? Yes? All right, nice. Yes. Yeah. Also, guys, sometimes, you know, because of your of, of this level, you might hear me say some things in Spanish, although I don't like speaking Spanish. All right? Now, for you guys, no Spanish, okay? No permito que hablen español. Okay. Eso les permití, right? But I will not allow you to speak Spanish, okay? If you do not know how to say something, guys, you go around. What do you do? Go around. Si no sabes cómo decir, digamos que no sabes cómo decir cangrejo en inglés, que te gusta comer cangrejo, ¿verdad? Right? Right? Imagina, imagínate que no puedes decir que te gusta comer cangrejo en español. ¿Qué, qué dirías? No le decís, mira viejo, ¿cómo se dice eh, eh, no, que no me gusta comer cangrejo en, en inglés? You don't say that, right? You say, fíjate que no me gusta esto, ¿cómo se llama? Aquí hay cosas que tienen patas. You describe it, right? Or you can say, fíjate que me gusta comer eh, comida, comida de mar. Marisco, right? That's what you say, guys. See? So the same thing in English, guys. If you do not know a word, si no sabes una palabra en inglés, decí la otra forma. Got it? All right? Okay. I don't like, I don't like to, you know, I don't like shrimp. Oh, okay. So I don't know how to say shrimp. Okay. So I don't like seafood. If you don't know how to say shrimp or seafood, I don't like fish. If you don't know how to say uh, shrimp, seafood, or fish, I don't like food, man. <laughs> Right? Whatever, guys. Okay, so you go around. Got it? But you do not translate. Okay? Uh, cameras, guys, turned on. Okay? Guys, cameras need to be turned on at all times. Okay? During the class. It's only for one hour, guys. Solo una hora tenés que tener la cámara encendida. Right? Why? Because, guys, believe it or not, I'm going to tell you a funny story. I had someone not turning on the camera. The camera turned on accidentally. Una persona tenía siempre la cámara apagada. Era una, era una muchacha. Y se le encendió la cámara accidentalmente, right? So then she calls me and says that she needed me to check on the video, on the class. Me dijo que revisara toda la grabación porque dijo que algún momento se le encendió la cámara. She tells me that, you know, the camera turned, turn, basically the camera turns on at, turn, turn on at some moment, at one point, and, and that she might not have been wearing her clothes, you know, que tal vez no, no estaba llevando ropa. And so I... <laughs> So she made me work extra hours. Me hizo trabajar porque, porque extra, porque tuve que ver el video, right? But uh, unfortunately, right, she, yeah, the camera turned on, but you can only see her eye. O sea, la cámara se encendió, sí, pero solo se le vio el ojo. Así el ojo. Entonces le dije, no, todo está bien. Right, got it? Right, guys, right? There are some people who like to sleep, you know, while they're in the class, right? So you have the camera turned off because you're sleeping, right? Entonces eso no ayuda, guys. Got it? All right, si veniste a dormir aquí, guys, I mean, what are you doing, okay? So, uh, Vanessa, Ruben, right? I, from uh, tomorrow, I expect you to have your cameras turned on, okay? 
o algunos desde el baño ahí, right? No. From the bathroom, okay? So, I know you guys, I know your tricks. All right. Anyways, uh, and lastly, guys, have fun, okay? If you notice, guys, I'm not a, I'm not a serious instructor. I'm not a serious teacher, right? I do like to have fun, guys, but um, I'm very strict too, right? You, you will learn, you know? Uh, as long as you apply yourselves, you will learn. However, I do need you guys to focus, you know, have fun, participate, you know, just, just, just be regular people, okay? Right, and uh, that is it, guys. That is it about the rules, okay? Now, I'll, I'll, for, before we move on, guys, do we have any questions? Una pregunta, guys? Questions? No, everything no. is okay. Everything good? All right, great. So, let's see, right? So now about the platform, guys, there is something you need to know, okay? The most important thing, guys, about this course, guys, is completing the platform. La cosa más importante, guys, es the curso que complete la plataforma. What is the most important thing, guys? What is it? To complete, complete the, the, the platform. The platform. Platform, no plataforma, guys. Platform. Platform. <laughs> All right, platform. no, no platano. Platform. All right, very good. Platform. All right, very good, guys. So <laughs> this, is what you're gonna, this is what you're gonna do, guys. Okay. So uh, if you want, guys, okay. You can go ahead and finish all the exercises from the platform in one day if you want, okay? That's better for me. Si vos querés, puedes completar toda la plataforma en un día, okay? Got it? All right. I will help you until we get to that point. Yo le puedo ayudar hasta que nosotros lleguemos a ese punto, pero vos se puede adelantar, dale, adelantate si quieres. All right. You see these icons right here, guys? This icon, this icon. This icon and this icon right here. Do you see them? Yes. Okay. Yes. So that means th these are the things that you need to complete. Okay. Now you can watch all of this. Puede ver todas estas cosas, right? Those are the classes, but the exercises are these ones. Okay. Once you complete them, guys, I want you. En la primera semana, guys, me tienen que haber completado, completado la sección 1 y la 2. En la primera, okay? O sea que de ahora jueves tienen que haber terminado la 1 y la 2. Got it? All right. Por lo menos, si vos quieres terminar toda, dale, terminate la toda, right? So, after you finish section one and two, you know, whatever, you come here, guys. And you say, progress, the high click on progress, so you're going to click on progress here. And you want, you, 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 uh, you'll send me a screenshot of this. Me voy a enviar un screenshot de esto, guys. Iba a decir 100 de 100, 100 de 100, 100 de 100, got it? I need you to send me a screenshot, guys, of this part. <laughs> After you finish uh, section okay, by WhatsApp it. web by WhatsApp group. See, to, uh, yeah, yeah, to the WhatsApp group. Exactly. Okay. All right. And that's it, guys. Sometimes, guys, okay, that's another thing that you have to know is that in the platform, sometimes you're going you're going to have let's say they have to complete you have to type in some you have to type in like this one, right? Now Aquí, guys, okay, muy importante que vos uses write capitalization. Do you know what capitalization is, guys? Capital letters, right? Que use, guys, buena, orto, buena um, gramática, okay? Que le pongas un punto al final si necesita un punto al final. All right? A very common mistake, guys, is when you do this. For example, this, guys, is right. But this, okay, let me give you another example here. All right, so, quiero que me digan, guys, ¿qué está malo en esto? Well, what's wrong here? This is the right answer, and this is the wrong answer. Why? Porque esta está mala y porque esta está buena. Porque esta, esta está buena porque esta es una apóstrofe, pero esta no es una apóstrofe, es una comilla. Si vos pones una comilla en vez de una apóstrofe, en, en un ejercicio te va a salir mal. Got it? So, you got to be careful. Okay. Okay. Si no, si tu teclado no sabes cómo poner una comida, una, una apóstrofe, dale copy paste a cualquier cosa en internet. Hay un montón de apóstrofes, right? Got it? All right, very good, guys. And that's about it, guys, okay? So, any questions? Preguntas? 
No wishes? No. All right. No. So, Catherine, Nancy, Hector, Stephanie, Jose. Teacher. ¿Puedo hablar español? Go ahead. En el, en, el, en el caso, bueno, no sé, en el mío, ¿verdad? Eh, realmente estoy empezando, entonces sí me cuesta mucho. Y entonces ahí estoy un poco así porque me está diciendo nada de español. Y para darme a entender siento que me va a costar mucho. No me worry, too. me too. Eh, no. eh, entonces me veo en problemas cuando le quiera hacer preguntas y sé que no voy a poder hacérselas porque no puedo hablar español. Y bueno, yo, teacher, un... soy cincuentero y a mí el inglés, créame, que yo le pagué a la maestra para que me pusiera un 7 y me puso un 10 la señora, <ríe> pero yo no aprendí. Right. Y me pasó, y eso es real, me pasó. So, so this is what we're going to do, ¿ok? All right, it doesn't matter, you try it. Es por eso que no se aprende, porque, bueno, mira, te voy, te voy a decir uh -huh. algo. Si, vos, si el cerebro tiene la opción de agarrar algo más fácil, lo agarra. Si el cerebro dice, mira, es más fácil que hables español que que te estés pensando cómo decir en inglés, habla español, right? So, en, 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 en relación a su respuesta, igual no lo voy a dejar hablar español, right? Pero lo que vamos a hacer es que voy a tratar de entender tu idea, right? Y te voy a decir, ok, so, what do you want to say, right? Yo te voy a ir guiando para que vos me hagas la otra pregunta correctamente, ¿got it? O sea que usted okay. no lo voy a poder comprar, teacher. No. Bueno, un millón de dólares, dale, hasta renuncio de aquí, dale. Ok. All right, sounds okay, good, guys? Because that's how you learn English, ok? Así es como aprendes, ok? Nice. Así forzada tu cerebro a que ya recuerda, que se estrese y que recuerda. ¿Got it? Can can you English? Got it. All right, yes, thank you in English, guys. Okay. All right, guys, any other question? No. All right. No, they don't know. Well, uh, so, so I was saying, Ruben, Vane, Evelyn, Laura, Miguel, Jose, Stephanie, Hector, Nancy, and Catherine, nice meeting you, and I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Take care, guys. Okay, see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.